So this time you have four tasks. The first task is you have to make two threads, display their argument in a loop. And I have already done it as an example in, in the previous slides. So the example code was actually for this task. So, so this one's already done. Now let's look at the second one. Um, in the second uh, task, what you have to do is you have to make a loop and then you have to create multiple threads and they should be generic. So what does that mean? It means that you will take an integer input from user for the number of threads and then run all those threads in parallel. That means if the user say that uh, uh, you, if the user asks for two threads, your program should be able to make two threads. And if the user asks for 100 threads, your program should be able to make 100 threads. That means keep the program generic, don't hard code it. And uh, the hint is you can use an array obviously to create IDs of multiple threads and then just run them in a loop. And then there is a caution too, that is join all the threads at the end in a separate loop. Otherwise they will not run in parallel. Remember that thing I, I just taught you that uh, at the join call, the main thread will wait. So so the next threads will not be created, right? So, so think about it. The third task is you have to create two threads. One should take input from user and calculate the factorial of that input, calculate the factorial and then store the result in a global variable. The second thread should take two variables uh, from user as an input, the base and the power, and then it should calculate power and store it again in a global variable and display the values of these variables in the main program too. I have not written that here, but display the values of these programs in the main um, program after the, the threads are done with it. So obviously you will display the values after the join call, obviously. Okay, task four is actually very interesting. What you have to do is you have to create three threads. The first thread should simulate FCFS algorithm. The second should simulate shortest job first and the third thread should simulate the priority scheduling algorithm. What you have to do is take input of the processes once at the start in main thread. That means you have to make a global structure, which you learned in the previous uh, lectures, in the previous two lectures. So make a, make a variable of that structure, a global variable of that structure before main, and then take input of the processes from user once in the main program before creating the threads. So what was the input from user? That was, I think, burst time and the IDs, and then uh, whatever value you will store in them will obviously be accessible by the address spaces of the threads as well because it will be a global variable. So what you will do is you will use the code from your previous labs of FCFS algorithm, SGF and priority scheduling and you will just put that code in the functions of each of these three algorithms, right? So you will just put them in the functions and then create three threads and call these functions. So they will run parallel. Right? It's actually not tough. It's actually very easy.